Hey everyone, Drew from Monkey's Tropicals Adventures here to do a, another fragrance review on some classics. Stay tuned. <laughs> So what are we going to talk about? So the fragrances I'm going to talk about, I bought myself. This is an unbiased review and uh, let's just jump into it, all right? So the fragrances we're going to talk about today are from Caswell Macy. So Caswell Macy, I think, is one of the oldest American fragrance houses around. Um, I've been a frequent ongoing user of their products going on probably over 20 years. Um, I was on a regular basis getting one of these fragrances pretty much every year for my birthday. I'd buy a bottle um, and then the price kind of went up a little bit higher and I just kind of stopped. So uh, I thought I'd kind of jump back into it and get some of these fragrances and I'll give you my opinion. So here we go. So the first one we're going to talk about is the actual one that I used to buy every year. I'd buy a bottle of this for my birthday. Uh, this is from the Gold Cap series, and this is number six. Comes in an 88 ml bottle. Goes for 44 bucks. I used to get it for around 25 about 15 years ago, so the price has gone up. Um, but this one still smells the same. I'm gonna spray it right now. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Um, Right off the bat, I'm going to tell you this is a really nice spring-summer scent, but really enjoy it, so I would wear it year-round. But you've got bergamot, rosemary, clove, lavender. Um, it's just, it's a really gorgeous, crisp, beautiful fragrance. And one of the cool things is George Washington actually used to wear this fragrance. Um, I kind of like the nostalgia and the history behind it. That's kind of what sucked me in. They used to have a Caswell Macy store at Fashion Island in Newport Beach that I used to go to, and I would smell all the fragrances, and I was really enamored by just the whole story of that. Um, but again, you get some really nice like lemon and orange. The citrus is really bright. Um, it's not synthetic. It's actually really, really nice. It's an EDT formula, and um, you do get some nice longevity out of it. Um, but again, for 44 bucks, although the price has gone up, it's still relatively inexpensive, so you can kind of wear a little bit of it. Uh, but I really enjoy it. Um, and the soap smells really great as well. But that's number six, worn by George Washington. All right, what's up next? The next one, I'm a little bit unhappy with how it smells now. Uh, and that would be the sandalwood. And I bought these like in a small little 15 ml to kind of try them out. Um, this is what the box looks like for the little 15 ml. And this is what the bottle looks like. So the juice used to be much darker. It used to come in a much darker bottle. And I believe the juice was darker too uh, from the older formula I used to use. And I'm just going to go and spray this one. So you still get some really nice spices. Um, really nice woody notes, um, a little bit of smoke, but it used to come out, I mean, it, it used to be probably one of the hardest hitting sandalwoods that I had ever tried. Um, even to date, I think the older formula of this was probably one of the best sandalwoods out there. This is still a really nice fragrance. I enjoy it. It's got a nice creamy sandalwood. Uh, the longevity wasn't as long as the older fragrance. The older fragrance really used to stay on your skin or clothes uh, pretty much till the next day. I enjoyed their soap, which I bought a bottle, uh, bottle, I bought a bar of their sandalwood soap. And I used to use their shave cream as well. Uh, it was just, I really enjoyed the older formula. So again, this is from the Gold Cap series and it does come in an 88 ml bottle if you wanna get it, but this is the trial size. It goes for 25 bucks. It just, it's not, the same formula and I understand that that fragrance houses go through reformulations costs go up um, you know you're looking for you know most efficient way to make a fragrance and make a buck but I'm really sad that it just doesn't perform like it used to however it still is a decent sandalwood um, I still enjoy it nice creamy spicy sandalwood fragrance I still think it's one of the better sandalwoods out there um, it just doesn't perform how it used to, so I'm a little bit bummed, but I still enjoy it. So that's Castle Macy's Sandalwood. Next up is 
Jockey. And again, I bought this one at 15 ml. Jockey is, again, I originally first started trying Jockey uh, as a bar of soap. So again, the soaps um, I used to give as gifts to my dad. My dad would buy up, whenever they would go on sale, he would buy up boxes. I think last time I checked, he's got like 25 boxes still of their soap because I buy them for him and then he would buy them when it goes on sale and he just, he enjoys the soap. So in there they have the presidential soaps and one of them is Jockey. And so that's when I first got to smell Jockey as a bar of soap. He's like, why don't you take a box? I have too many, yeah, way too many. And, uh, and I really enjoy the smell of Jockey and I like the nostalgia behind Jockey. Presidential soap, Jockey, um, was worn by JFK. JFK was a big fan of the Jockey fragrance. So it's a really nice floral citrus fragrance. It's got citrus, bergamot, jasmine, lang lang, sandalwood, musk, geranium, and amber. Really nice scent. Opens up. It's a really nice, bright, crisp, uh, floral citrus fragrance. It's very light, um, can easily be worn year round. Again, I think this would really shine in spring or summer. I picture, you know, you're wearing this fragrance when you're going to the Hamptons, uh, when you're going to the Kentucky Derby. Um, it's just, it's got that like Nantucket Island feel to it. You know, the red pants, the whole, you know, white crisp poplin shirt. It's a really nice uh, fragrance. Office safe for sure. And like I said, it's light enough that it can be worn year round. But again, I think it would pop in some cooler weather. And actually it did this week that I wore it to the office. Um, but it would be really nice in spring or summer because it's light uh, in that hotter weather for sure. Um, Jockey performed great. This is my first time actually trying the Jockey Formula fragrance uh, and I really enjoyed it a lot. Okay, well, and I'm just gonna show you what the bar of soap looks like. So again, there's soaps. When they go on sale, they're worth getting. They come in, this is their wood grain bar, but this is their sandalwood. Now their soap actually smells how the fragrance used to smell um, when, when you, I used to get the old formulation of the sandalwood uh, fragrance. It's strong, it's super, super potent. Um, I, I just, I really wish that sandalwood gave that punch uh, otherwise, I would just give it a hands down like perfect 10 because that's how much I really enjoyed that sandalwood fragrance. I was really hoping uh, that it packed that punch again. Unfortunately, it fell a little bit flat for my taste. But as a uh, as a fragrance house, as a grooming products house, I think Castle Macy, they have some great deals. I got a lot of this like 35% off. They, they do run specials. We're gonna be probably running into Black Friday, probably some Christmas specials. And I do like classic um, fragrance houses, classic grooming houses that have been around for a long time. Um, so, you know, I thought I'd give them another shot. And overall, uh, I do like the products. Um, so that'll be it. Uh, list below anything that you've tried from Castle Macy, any fragrances um, that you like or enjoy. I'm a big fan of their Newport and Greenbrier as well. Those are two fragrances I have not purchased, uh, but I've been kind of on the fence about purchasing them again in the future. Um, like and subscribe. Follow me over on Instagram at Monkeys Tropicals Adventures, and I'll see you again for another fragrance review. Take care.